North Carolina Opera has a special outdoor concert featuring opera and Broadway favorites. It's called Opera in the Pines, and this year's event is really special because it features Kids Notes, an organization working with underserved young people. Joining me now are North Carolina Opera General Director Eric Mitchko and Kids Notes Executive Director Katie White. It's nice to have both of you here. It's great to be Thank here. Thank you. So, Eric, this is the second year for North Carolina Opera in the Pines. What do you have planned for this special concert? Well, it's a great program, and it's really a great family weekend event. Uh, we have four operatic singers and our NCO orchestra with uh -huh. conductor Timothy Myers performing popular opera and Broadway favorites. And it's in this really, really beautiful venue at Coca Booth Amphitheater in Cary with the great big lawn and it's on the lake. Yeah. Uh, and kids are free. And for people who aren't kids, you can get tickets at our website, uh, ncopera.org. But it's just, it's really beautiful because uh, you've got great music, you can bring coolers and picnics, they have food available there. Yeah. Just got to uh, dodge any frisbees being thrown around by the kids <laughs> on the lawn. But other than that, it's uh, it's going to be great. And you know, we, we work with lots of different organizations uh, around the Triangle, and we're very excited this year to be uh, having performing side by side with Kids Notes. Mm -hmm. And Katie, tell me about Kids Notes. You're changing the lives of underserved youth in the Triangle. How are you doing that? That's right. Kids Notes is inspired by El Sistema and a system of music for social change that started in Venezuela in the 1970s. Mm -hmm. And we work to empower kids who would not otherwise have the opportunity to perform. We have 315 students enrolled now, grades K through 7. Mm -hmm. This is going to be an excellent opportunity for our, some of our top students, but they're still very young. They're 10, 11, 12 years old. Yeah. This will be one of the first times they're performing with a highly professional orchestra definitely the first time they're hearing opera and performing opera. And this is one event in a series of concerts we have as part of our Indiegogo campaign. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a great event. We're trying to send 100 kids to camp this summer. And so if you're interested in supporting Kids Notes and supporting these kids, both raising awareness through fantastic opportunities like performing with the excellent musicians of the North Carolina Opera yeah. and helping us send 100 kids to camp through our Indiegogo campaign. And these Kids Notes musicians, they're learning to play all kinds of instruments, right? It's all orchestral instruments. Okay. So what, what it, I think is wonderful about it is we're really taking what is considered an elite classical music art form mm -hmm. and putting it in the hands of kids who would not otherwise have the opportunity yeah. to perform. And Eric, how are they interacting, these kids, with the opera? Well, they're going to perform actually side by side. So okay. we'll have the adult musicians of our opera orchestra with the kids next to them performing. Very nice. And um, they're going to perform some of Carmen. We have stuff from Madame Butterfly and other, like, other popular operas. This is wonderful. Thank you both so much for being here, and best to you with your Indiegogo campaign. Thank you. Thank you. Opera in the Pines is this Saturday at Coca Booth Amphitheater at 8 p.m. Get information at ncopera.org.